Hey everyone, Nathaniel Ruffle Jans here, and before I get into this video, I want to tell you that we are having a new giveaway for the month of July, and we're just going to start it early, just because we didn't really do one for this month, as we were respecting some other things happening in the world, but we are giving away a copy of Paper Mario, the Origami King. To enter, you just have to leave a comment on the video, subscribe, like the video, and hit that bell icon and set it to all notifications so you know when all my videos and live streams are coming. Uh, so I wish you guys luck on that. Today is actually a really good video. It feels a, a bit strange. We haven't had a lot of positive videos. Uh, I, I guess wholly positive videos in a while. Um, and I was going to cover something a little bit more controversial uh, today. But I decided that, you know what, it's time to get back into the positive. And if you guys remember a, a couple months back, I put out a report that Nintendo Switch was going to have shortages and this was before it was actually sold out everywhere and really since that video came out Nintendo Switch has been sold out worldwide every single week uh, pretty much ad infinitum it's really hard to find one in fact I could sell my Switch right now locally through Facebook Marketplace for $400 used that's how hard it is in my little area in Wisconsin to get a hold of a Nintendo Switch. And they're actually selling at that price. I saw four different ones sell just today. So I can actually make a profit off my Switch and still get a brand new one later. That's kind of how crazy it is right now out in the marketplace with a used Switch, let alone brand new inbox, never open. I've seen those go for $450 to $500. So the big thing right now is that Switch is really hard to get its hands on. And it's been really hard basically since uh, the pandemic was, you know, hit um, really worldwide. So Nintendo, though, has promised, you know, back then that there, you know, shortage was only be a couple of weeks and this and that. And obviously it's been a lot longer. It looks like at least based on a current report coming out of Japan, the Nintendo Switch is back up to full production uh, and is no longer being limited at the production lines. Now, this does not mean that suddenly next week we're going to have oodles of Switches in. There's a lot of things that have to go. It takes a while when, when productions ramp back up. It takes a little bit while for things to catch up. So we're still probably a month to six weeks away from supply actually meeting demand with Nintendo Switch and it being easy to find Switches on store shelves again. Uh, but let's get into the actual report. And this comes from Nintendo Soup, who actually did a translation from a Japanese outlet. So, as here says, Nintendo Switch production has returned to 100% capacity. It says, good news. Um, it seems that the Nintendo Switch shortages are finally coming to an end in the near future. Japanese media career connection asked Nintendo about the current level of production for the Nintendo Switch. Early in 2020, Nintendo Switch production was hampered by the coronavirus outbreak. High demand for the console caused shortages worldwide, even to this day. A Nintendo spokesperson told Career Connection that Nintendo Switch production levels have returned back to normal, meaning they are now working at full capacity, the same as before the coronavirus outbreak. When asked when the company thinks the shortages will end, the spokesperson said that they were unsure and it depends on the situation in the market. So... The big deal with this is that we're talking about um, the Nintendo Switch coming back into full production and shortages ending. It's going to depend on the market. They're going to focus on certain marketplaces, um, you know, as we go along here. As an example, the Japanese marketplace is probably going to be a big focus of this comeback because they are just selling oodles and oodles of copies of Animal Crossing and Ring Fit Adventure and all these games, and they are not meeting demand at all. There, there's been raffles happening again. So the Japanese marketplace, the home marketplace for Nintendo, is probably going to be one of the main marketplaces to see a bounce back in Switch stock the quickest not only that japan's really close to china where nintendo assembles all these products so it makes a lot of sense now the big deal uh why we have to question when north america is going to be back to normal is because not all the north american units are actually made in china some are made in taiwan and other countries that are uh, still not back to full capacity with their factories however that doesn't mean that nintendo can't make additional units in china when they originally uh, set up these factories to make things in north america it was more about the tariffs and stuff happening from the, the u.s government that they were worried that the switch was going to become too expensive to import from china to the u.s to sell and be profitable so this is why they set up these other factories it's not that they couldn't make enough units in china so chances are uh they're going to you know have production at full full tilt in china and they're going to bring a lot of those units to the u.s as well because the u.s is nintendo's 
biggest market in terms of unit sales. So they will be bringing switches here for sure. As for the rest of the world, it's going to vary country by country. Uh, but I expect Japan and the U.S. to be the ones that get the first major restocks and get caught up on supply and demand versus other countries, say even in Europe. So, yep. That's uh, good news. Basically, I think within two months, the whole world should be caught up with Switch. So basically, by the end of summer, by the end of August, uh, anyone who wants to buy a Switch should be able to readily buy one at MSRP again. Now, this is good news in general for the gaming marketplace because obviously we know coming out this fall is the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, and there's been concerns over how many of those units they've been able to make to prepare for launch. But if Nintendo's back up to full production, chances are those systems are as well, uh, and we should be well-stocked for the holiday season. Even if the quote-unquote Wave 2 happens, we're not technically out of Wave 1, at least in the United States, uh, but if Wave 2 hits and it's worse, at least Nintendo should have some stock built up even though the, the next couple of months will be catching up obviously uh when it comes to september and october you know they'll, they're able to probably stockpile switches again getting ready for the holidays like they do every single year to be fair so holiday wise we should be okay uh if a second wave hits and hits in china in particular and then the factory shut down again then uh obviously we'll worry then about post you know november if there's going to be switch shortages again or playstation 5 shortages or xbox series x shortages, or heck even playstation 4 and xbox one i've seen um some shortages on that as well even though uh, you can still usually find them brand new if you're willing to, to look uh at enough stores but still uh there, there have been shortages on those as well so yeah it's it's interesting because Nintendo sales don't seem to be have don't seem to be impacted but i think this is important to know uh that at least impacted worldwide because Every unit they were making coming out of the factories during this time was basically sold before the unit even was made. So a lot of times when, you know, they're at full capacity making systems, all the systems they're making aren't automatically sales, right? This is why we have a total console shipped number versus total unit sales. There's a difference between how many systems were shipped and how many actually sold. And so when you're you know and every unit you make off the assembly line is sold the numbers are still going to look really good for sales this is why everything has looked really good for nintendo since animal crossing came out uh, and really good in general this year because every unit they make is already sold but this does also make it hard for people that don't want to use the secondhand market that want to just walk into their local walmart or whatever and pick up a system it makes it really really difficult i mean things are still being affected as an example uh, GameStop, which is now open in most states, including mine, they aren't giving cash for trade-ins right now. It's only store credit, and it's because the business was really hurt by things. Um, and it, it, it's one of those situations where uh, nothing is really going to be normal in 2020, and this includes our ability to get a hold of a Switch, even if it returns to normal levels for a couple of months. I don't expect it to last much past November, and I think we're going to have shortages again. Uh, but whatever, it's good news that it is finally being put back at normal production levels and anyone who wants to buy a Switch will freely be able to do so soon. Now, uh, obviously, I wonder, you know, in this whole Switch shortage stuff in this pandemic and Switch blowing up this year, um, this is probably the best sales year for Switch period uh, so far since you know since it released in 2017 i always wonder you know we we talked for a long time probably o over a year about things like the switch pro clearly these shortages have led to any sort of switch pro or whatever being delayed because uh, i fully believe it was going to come this year but now well I mean, they're just trying to get Switch in stock, let alone worry about releasing a new platform. Uh, do I think that that means we still might get a Switch Pro in 2021? I hope so. I hope that's the thing that happens. Maybe they end up not doing it, scrapping it, and going all the way to the next generation Switch. All I know is Switch is going to be doing fine. Uh, there is some concern, of course, how Switch is going to compete in the new market once PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X come out. But I think that's another video uh, where we can address where Switch fits in the marketplace with when those new platforms land what it means for third party support all that jazz i've seen a couple other videos out there on this already and i don't necessarily agree with their takes on everything so i feel like it will be a fun discussion to have down the line uh as we get closer and closer to the launch of those platforms but for right now i am thrilled that nintendo switch is going to come back in stock and that all of you that don't happen to own one whether you want the red box version whether you want the og version which i don't even think they make the og version anymore so basically these white box versions back here like two that i got two boxes back there you probably can't get those anymore it's going to be the red box version only plus all the switch lights if you've been waiting to get one uh it's going to be time soon also let me know down in the comments uh i've been debating on doing this kind of video and 
you know, credit to Bob Wolf. He got to it before me. I'm sure some others have as well. He just happens to be someone that I watch uh, that happened to get a video out quite recently, maybe even today on this. Um, let me know if you're interested in what I take with me when I take my Switch with me. Uh, I I don't think I've ever made a video where I go over, because I don't take my Switch with me very often, but when I am traveling and I am taking it with me, be it at E3 or other events, or just if I'm not driving and I want to pack things up to go on a camping trip or whatever the case may be, when I take my Switch with me, let me guys know if you want to know what I bring. You know, what case do I use? How do I store my games? What accessories do I come with? What accessories that, uh, you know, are in addition do I bring with? You know, what, what battery bank do I use? What this, what that? Let me know if you're interested in a video like that. And I can go over uh, that because there's actually two different situations um, for me with traveling with my Switch that come up, that have come up, and uh, different scenarios I use for traveling. So um, let me know your thoughts on that and if you'd like me to make a video on that. I think it'd be quite interesting to just toss together a video quick. Um, going over the stuff that I pack in my bag or what bag I use or what this or what that. Um, cause yeah, I, I do bring quite a few stuff with me with my switch, uh, depending on the situation. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz from Nintendo prime. Um, it's been great. I've had a lot of fun and, uh, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, be sure to enter that giveaway uh, if you haven't already. Um, for those that are wondering, the game does come out on July 17th, uh, The Origami King, but uh, we won't be giving away a copy on that day. It won't be till the end of the month. So if you don't want to wait to play the game, just buy it. I mean, chances are you're going to have one in you know 80,000 plus chances to actually like win a copy. So it's going to be a pretty low chance anyways. Go ahead and just buy it. And if you end up winning the copy, maybe you give it away to a friend or you can pass on it and I can give it to somebody else. Uh, your choice. But uh, yeah, don't wait. I always say if you want a game at launch, don't wait for a giveaway that you have a low chance of winning. Uh, but I will be giving away that copy at the end of July. Uh, and by the way, July is my birthday month. So that's cool. All right, folks.